Hi everyone, um, Mark and I are at an inspection at a condominium in Bartram Park right now and Mark works for Whole Story Home Inspection which is one of um, uh, the companies that I work for, not work for, work with um, when I go under contract with a home for some of my buyers and he's going to share some differences he sees between home inspections and condo inspections. Hey there guys, so when we're looking at a condominium it's a, a little bit variated from what we typically see on a single family residence but we still spend the same amount of time digging into all of the major systems. On a condominium inspection, the one thing to remember is that we've got an HOA and a condominium association that oversee a lot of the exterior repairs. So even though we want to understand what's going on outside, to understand the inside, we have a little bit of discretion about who is actually going to be making those changes and how those repairs affect the transaction. So what we're seeing on the condominium outside is we're, we're looking at the siding system, your roofing system, and all of the above. Um, but most of your coordination is within your adjoining properties. So we want to make sure we look and see how all that plays into what's impacting your specific condominium residence and your specific property lots. So in terms of one of the problems that we saw inside today, we're talking about moisture between, if you found in the ceiling that could relate to an AC unit and yep. the above unit. How did you figure that out and then how would you suggest remedying that? Yeah, so some of the challenges that we see in a condominium is what a resident does above or next to you significantly impacts your residence from, an, from a perspective inside the walls and in the ceilings. So because a condo works with varying rules in regards to what is actually owned by the property owner, what we're looking at is a tenant or a resident that is living above or next to you, their negligence in a uh, unforeseen water leak or even the condition of their systems could potentially impact um, your residents from, a, from an inside the walls or an un invisible standpoint. So last question, what um, tools, you have some cool tools that you use for yep. when you do the inspection and then after when you send the report, can you share what some of those are? Yeah, so one of the things we always do on every inspection is an infrared scan utilizing thermal imaging technology to make sure we can see the heat signature that some of these systems are putting off. It allows us to detect hidden moisture issues, condensation in thermal temperature changes, and then also electrical hot spots and insulation variations. So the thermal imaging camera gives us a heat signature of what's going on behind the walls so we can make sure we encompass and address all of the items that may exist on the property. And then you also have a system once you submit the report that they can come back in and, and look at the information or about manuals? Yeah, so what we do is we provide every homeowner that gets an inspection with us with a home maintenance manual that allows you to review some of the issues that we've discussed full of diagrams and details and specific maintenance items that we'd want you to address over the course of the years while you're owning the residence. We also do a home binder account for you, uh, makes it nice and easy an online dashboard for you to maintain and keep track of all your equipment serial numbers and